So my last Valley Village find, I said I found two of these cameras and they both work. Well, what I got is two Konica's C35 automatic cameras. So I'm gonna show you the, um, the least nice cosmetic version first. This one does not have a lens cap, the other one does. So other than the um, slight blemishes, you know, the glue is starting to seep through the leatherette on the back. The uh, film compression thing that holds the film tight to the uh, back of the camera. Those little knobs are coming through a little bit. The lens of this camera, of these cameras, I should say, um, is a 2.8. So it's super, super sharp camera, super fast as well. The top shutter speed is 1 640th of a 640th of a second. And if I can look through the viewer, is as, as 30th of a second at 2.8. So if you want to get that 2 point, because it's automatic, if you want to get that 2.8 in bright daylight, you're going to need a ND filter for it. So let's get a, take a little look at it. Here's your film advance, uh, film rewind. Here's your film advance. You take your picture button, <laughs> your hot shoe, your really nice clean lens. It is a 36 millimeter, uh, excuse me, 38 millimeter. The filter size, if you want to get an ND filter, is a 46 millimeter which are kind of hard to find, but pretty pricey. Here's where it um, meters your camera. Here's your viewer. So it has parallax, very similar to a Leica or any other rangefinder camera. So you look through your viewfinder and you line up to, you know, you look through that little yellow square. There's a little yellow square there and you line them up until it's in focus. So your lens, very similar to a like it. it's got that little uh, put your finger there and you just roll the on and off the focus so when it's on automatic mode it's best to keep the automatic in the 14 and 45 14 meet meters or 45 feet which is a uh, good which is excellent and the little button here, if you want to, oh, first of all, when you're setting it like that, you get a really nice focus range, which is cool. So if you want to have a shallower, shallower focus range, you just take this little button here, you press it in, and you turn this until it disengages. So now your focusing distance wait sorry bring it down here this way now your focusing distance is less so if you have anything from five feet to infinity basically will be in focus so it'll be faster for like street photography or something like that if you set it like that so here's right is where you set your ISO. You just turn this here to set your ISO. The ISO range on these cameras are 25, ASA at 25, all the way up to, I think, 400 ASA. That is the first one. The second one is in better condition. Our, comes with a leatherette, a little leatherette uh, pouch as well. This time it's lens cap. This time, cosmetically, it is perfect. I love this one. Okay, I didn't show you in the last time. This is your a, um, timer. Oh, okay, it does work. There we go. Ta-da! This is much better condition. So this time I will show you on the inside. Oh, there's a sink port for a flash, if you want to add flash. So 
pop. The only thing is both these, both these cameras, these seals are totally shot. They're sticky as heck. I don't know if you can see it on the end of my finger. Really sticky. But other than that, super clean inside. I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to change um, filter seals, oh, filter seals, um, camera seals. And I'm gonna use these two as um, examples, or at least the one anyways. The one I'm gonna use, which is probably gonna be this one at first. So the other one, which is right here, because it's slightly rougher condition, but still works. I'm going to take the leather right off. See those little buttons there that are popping through? It's basically these that are coming through, but I don't know why. Shouldn't do that really, but this one seems like it possibly could have been dropped. Yeah, this looks like this probably was coming off and somebody decided to glue it down themselves. <coughs> Excuse me. So what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm gonna take the old leather right off and put some new one on, maybe a different color or something like that. So that is my Value Village line. The Konica C35 Automatics. I got them both for $9.99. Pretty cool, huh? All right. I don't have any new, anything new from uh, Value Village for now, so I don't have any sneak peeks. So stay tuned for some new Value Village stuff in the future. Bye for now.